This is the new microconverter mount from Camera Foundry. It attaches to microconverters like this HDMI to SDI 3G or this 12G model and can be mounted on your camera to adapt HDMI to dual SDI outputs. You can rig it to monitors, cameras, and there's several different methods to attaching it to your gear. And we're gonna talk about all of this in this video. Be sure to check all the information on this page or in the description as we are going to have several adapters and converter kits available for different models, different cameras, and cine back. Now let's talk about what comes in the kit and how to install. So. Out of the box, you're going to have the mount itself, which can be used directly with either the HDMI to SDI 3G microconverter or the HDMI to SDI 12G microconverter. So both of these are uh, able to work with this kit and there are several different screws and mounting methods for this kit. So the first thing you wanna figure out when it comes to actually installing this mount is going to be how it's going to interface with your camera or other equipment. There are two different ways, or really three I should say, to mount this to your gear. The first is going to be directly through the through holes on the mount. So you'll see if we look down inside of the mount, there are all of these slots and holes with which to use one or both of the quarter 20 silver screws that come with the kit. Those can essentially just be dropped in at various places that all have standard spacing. And there are slots here, so you can slide the screws around. And that should give you plenty of bite to bite down onto a cheese plate, a camera body, or something else. So that's method one is through the actual plate itself. This is a slightly more permanent setup because we're going to be installing the converters on top of those screws. So you won't be able to quickly remove them, but it is the most compact. So if you're gonna leave it on your camera or monitor or whatever, that is a great way to go. Another method is using the built-in quarter 20 thread. So let's say you wanted to go from a monitor mount into the back of this and mount it to the side of a camera, you could do that simply by threading into those quarter 20 threads. So that would be easy and you wouldn't have to remove the actual unit. Finally, we have what we are calling the mounting ears. These can be installed on the left and or right of the mount and that allows you to install the converter and still have access to mounting points where you can use those same screws through the through holes and mount it to all kinds of different gear. You can install both or just one of these mounts if you don't need the whole setup. So that is several different options, but all of this is included and we're gonna walk through mounting and installing everything now. So if you've opted to forego the ears and you're not going to use the quarter 20s on the back and you just want to install the unit directly into the holder, you wanna start by taking this holder and installing it on your rig or whatever else. So here I have my FX3 rig with a top handle kit, which I'll show you because it doesn't make a lot of sense without it. And you can see right here on the back of my rig or cine back, which is another product of ours, I have installed the mount. So at this point, I can go ahead and mount and install our adapter or converter right here. So I'm going to remove this rainbow top handle from mid 49, which I absolutely love. And now we can talk about getting this guy installed. So you can see I've already put down two of those silver screws in those two slots. And now we're ready to install the micro converter. To do that, we first need to remove these four Phillips head screws on the side of the micro converter. So I have gone ahead and removed those screws. You might be tempted to then remove the cover. We're actually going to leave this installed. It actually has some heat sinking built in. So we wanna leave that there and it'll also keep this thing protected. And at this point, I'm going to bring in that rig and we're going to go ahead and install it in the mount or the holder. Now, there are on the holder two little bits of text. You can see right here on this side we have 12G, and on this side we have 3G. That pertains to the different models. So on the 3G, we have different screw sizing and different positions. So these two units, the 12G and the 3G, actually have different spots for the screws. So what you wanna do is line up the SDI connectors 
with the corresponding markings. So if I'm installing a 12G, I want the 12G SDI connectors on this side. If I'm installing the 3G, I want the SDI connections on this side. So when you go to install this, you can figure out where you want your SDI connectors to exit, uh, which side of your rig or whatever you're mounting everything to. So on this case, I want my SDI going toward the operator side with the HDMI on the handle side of the camera. So I've got 12G written right here. So now I can take our unit with these screws that have been removed and I'll go ahead and slide it in place just like that. Included with the kit, you'll find the correct screw sizes to go ahead and bolt in from the top and bottom or the sides of the mount to secure the box in place. So I'll go ahead and install those now. And with that done, we now have a crazy rock solid SDI adapter built onto our camera. So that is one method of installing the mount. Now let's talk about using the mount ears. Using the mount ears is incredibly simple. They essentially just go right onto the side and they are keyed so you can only put them in the correct way and they add a little bit of extra torque stability. So let me just remove one now and show you on the side profile of the mount what things look like. So you'll see there are two through holes on the ear itself with two threads on the mount. So we're going to simply slide it in place. We'll mount everything with these longer Phillips head flathead screws. I'll just go ahead and start those in the hole and screw it in place with a Phillips screwdriver. With that installed, we now have a nice flush mount with a option to either use a screw on the ends and or in the middle here and mount this to all kinds of different cameras and cheese plates using those included silver screws. So you can use one ear or go ahead and install both ears and now you have a lot of different mounting options and the pro with the ears is that we can go ahead like we've already talked about install this and you can remove it from gear and add it back without having to remove it from the entire mount so like we talked about before if we wanted to install the micro converter we would need to remove those four phillips screws drop this whole thing in just like that line up the holes and go ahead and use the included screws with the kit to get everything nice and mounted and you're ready to go <clears throat> and here i have that same rig we already have that converter down here on the back but i just wanted to show you mounting it to a handle and while i wouldn't normally put an hdi to sdi converter up here it goes to show you how versatile that ear is and how easy it is to rig this up pretty much anywhere. Last but not least, let's talk about rigging this bad boy up using the built-in threads on the back. Now keep in mind that these threads are plastic, so if you're going to be a hundred times screwing something and unscrewing it, you might want to use one of the other mounting methods, but this is a really easy way to rig up the box using something like this monitor arm here. So I can simply thread on, it might be stiff the first time you use it, and with that, we now have this thing on a monitor arm. We can then use it to rig up on the side of our camera nice and snug and conveniently. Another option would be to, instead of going directly into the threads, you could use something like this quick release system from Condor Blue. It is super secure and you could mount this underneath this unit. That way you can quickly remove it when you need to. Okay, here we have our rig again. I've got the monitor mount mounted to the side of Cineback with one of those quick releases on the end. So now I can simply grab our entire adapter with the other end of the quick release and simply slide it on and lock it in place. And now we have our converter on the side. So there's just another way to rig up our micro converter holder or mount kit now available at camerafoundry.com.